Turning to the Pima County Sheriff's Department and major changes in the coming months. Not only will they lose employees from the vaccine mandate, but also from retirements. Niner on your side's Perla Shaheen went one on one with Sheriff Chris Nanos on the department's plan for 2022. Crime in Pima County has been relatively low compared to Tucson, but for Sheriff Chris Nanos, it's not enough. If you don't think that the homicide rate that you're seeing in the city and the violent crime you're seeing there, record homicide rates, if you don't believe that that's not going to spill over into the county, oh my goodness, we're in trouble. In 2021, the sheriff's office reorganized jurisdictional boundaries to decrease response times. Nano says this worked, but he still needs more staff to see significant change. We have not seen an increase but we haven't seen the decrease that we would like. The sheriff's office used to have around 1,600 employees, but now that's down to 1,320. You cannot reduce your police forces by 25, 30% and not expect to have an impact. Nanos expects problems to grow if his officer headcount remains low. I have one accident investigator, one, and I have three or four DUI guys. Look at our DUI fatalities. The DUI fatalities are rising significantly. Our fatalities in general rising significantly. Nanos is most concerned about upcoming retirements, specifically of corrections officers. He's hoping to organize four corrections officer academies in 2022. The correction side of the house is critical. We're, st we're down, for forget the mandate, we're down already 70 some bodies and that attrition rate is 3.5. Nano says he plans to request funding to hire more staff at the county's upcoming budget meeting. Perla Shaheen, KGA 9 on your side.